You may not recognize their faces, but you've definitely heard their voices. Hey everyone, I'm Ashley Bornanson with the Red Carpet Report. Tonight we are in Hollywood at the Egyptian Theater for the premiere of the film I Know That Voice, representing some of the biggest artists in the voiceover industry. Let's go talk to some goofy characters. Obi-Wan Kenobi, Johnny Tess, Leonardo the Ninja Turtle, uh, Huckleberry Hound, Wile E. Coyote. That's amazing. I grew up watching the Flintstones. Oh, did especially. you? Well, yeah. I did too. I wasn't that Fred. I've been him for 10 years, so yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. So how has it been for you working in the industry? You know, uh, for 25 years now I've been a voice actor. It's all I've ever wanted to do since I was four years old. I set out to be a voice actor. Most people want to be Hollywood and all the cameras and everything. I wanted to be locked in a little padded room and talk to myself, and I've, I've done very well with it. So uh, it's a lot of fun to be, you know, everything from Johnny Test, who's 11 years old and really awesome and fun, and basically me on helium. To Yabba Dabba Doo, Fred Flintstone, Wilma Bonnie. You know, it's, uh, and only a voice actor can be 5'4", 115 pounds, and be the voice of Fred Flintstone or Fox. Animation, Domination, The Simpsons, the you know, all those shows, that's, that's me as well, so. That's amazing. Um, what did you do when you first started out? How did you break in? Oh, good question. Um, you know, I started in radio and stand-up comedy. When I was 16, I started as a stand-up. 17, I got into radio, and radio was really a great uh, learning ground for me and, and transition into voiceover. So uh, by the time I was in my 20s, I started doing voiceover for video games and animated shows, doubling a lot of celebrities. A lot of my work is doubling people like Michael J. Fox. Whoa, wait a second, Doc. You mean to tell me you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? And Christopher Lloyd. The way I see it, Marty, if you're going to build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? So I would double for them if they weren't available. Uh, Johnny Depp, uh, Ewan McGregor, um, Christopher Walken, if he's not available, you know. So, yeah, that's fine. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. What's can you do one? Of, yeah, do one of your favorite characters. One of my favorites. Oh boy. Well, you know, I enjoy Obi Wan Kenobi because I've done him for so long. But it's just me with the British accent. It's the one that my wife wishes I did this voice all the time. So, the Force will be with you always. I love it. I love that you can just go out and have a normal life too, and be all these characters. Thank you. If you couldn't tell, we had so much fun tonight on the red carpet meeting so many different actors, crazy characters, crazy voices, such a great group of people. If this is the only interview you've seen, you're going to want to check out all of our other interviews. Like this video and subscribe if you want to see more. And leave me a comment telling me who is your favorite character. For me, meeting Winnie the Pooh was amazing, but honestly, everyone was so awesome. I have the biggest smile on my face. <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.